Welcome to another 10 minute tidy up. You know the drill, I'm gonna pump some music, put a real life timer on the screen and let's get to tidying. First things first, I am going to get this cool pulled water that's been sitting there this morning. I'm gonna put it into my water container. I don't know if this is something that I need to do for my sourdough products, but it's something that I'm just in a habit of doing. And then the most important step for cleaning up a kitchen is to empty that dishwasher out so that I have a clean slate to put all of the dirty dishes that have just been accumulating on that right side. I'm absolutely gonna blame it on sleep deprivation, but for some reason I just cannot remember which drawer the plates and bowls go into. You can see I've just opened up two of the drawers to try and figure it out, but it's back to my favor because I do have both. Fun fact about our cutlery set is this was actually a wedding present that we got from my grandparents and everybody asked me why we have such a nice cutlery set out in our daily use and we got to a point where we had moved homes and I just looked at Michael and I said, what's the point of storing this away for a special occasion when we can just be using it? So we have these gold plated cutlery set that is our everyday use and we absolutely love it. I'm excited to be sharing soon a pantry reorganization video. I've gone out and bought some more storage containers just because our pantry is so tiny and there's six of us. It's just getting really messy and most of the stuff ends up on my side bench, which is just not practical for cleaning. So that video is coming out soon. So please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified. The next step is to gather anything that needs rinsing before going into the dishwasher or maybe it needs to get hand washed because it just can't go in. So I'm going to do that and let's keep cleaning. We have this little makeshift bin on our bench and I find it to be so helpful. Nine times out of 10 at the moment because Eddie is learning to walk and is investigating all of the cupboards. This cupboard underneath the sink that has my rubbish bin in is usually baby proofed. So having a place to put the rubbish that is out of reach of little hands is so helpful. It does mean that we do change it quite frequently, but it really is worth it. I was in such shock that this did not break, not a chip or any sort of indication that it was broken. I have been in a situation where the hot water has just smashed containers before. So thankfully this is all good and I'm just cleaning it out. This was where I was storing my starter in for the week. So I am having to give it a bit more of a rinse because dried starter is pretty much like concrete. It is so difficult to clean.
This morning I needed to get the boys some more clothes so I went to our local kids op shop and I found these poppet boards for a dollar and couldn't go past them. They are great for teething for Eddie but also fine motor for the other kids and they were in such good condition so I'm just giving them some warm soapy water and sanitizing them before putting them into their toy box. This is where I need your help in the comment sections because I would love to get my baking trays a little bit tidier. I remember seeing something on TikTok with bicarb and some sort of citrus, but I don't think this really made any difference, which is really disappointing. I just remember seeing there's some sort of hack, so if you know anything, please comment it down below. Help me and help those reading the comment section. where I can start to see the light at the end of the tunnel and I can start to feel like I've actually made some progress because the kitchen is starting to look cleaner and I'm just gonna be putting away the stuff that has been air drying on the side. How many times, especially when cleaning, that one job has led into another job that's led into another job. Opening the second drawer has done that for me because I've realized that I need to do a quick little tidy up because it was definitely getting very messy. At the time that I recorded this video, it was a changeover in the month, so I'm just wiping down my whiteboard. This board really is the heart and soul of my house because it's a family of six. I cannot retain everything in my head. This whiteboard has a five week overview, it has a weekly plan, goals list on the side, and everything just goes up on this board. It's really great for communication between Mick and I, but also now that Amira wants to know more about her life, she's also checking that board too. Thanks so much for cleaning with me. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell because we upload cleaning motivation videos every Monday and here's more cleaning videos just for you.